Lake County's Congressman Leary of New House Speaker. Maybe Johnson can make the crazies compromise a concern and hope are on the minds of members of the U.S. House of Representatives representing different parts of Lake County, as new Speaker Mike Johnson, Arla, must help guide Congress toward funding the government to avoid a shutdown in about two weeks. Johnson was elected Speaker of the House on October 25 with the unanimous support of his Republican caucus, while Democrats gave their votes to Representative Hakeem Jeffries, DNY prompting concerns from the representatives from Lake County, all of whom are Democrats. Time equals, 400 Ms., greater than U.S. Reps. Bill Foster, D. Naperville, Mike Quigley, D. Chicago, Jan Schakowsky, D. Evanston, and Brad Schneider, D. Highland Park, expressed fear over Johnson's far-right ideas, but hope he can make compromises to keep the country funded beyond November 17 compromises over spending by former Speaker. Kevin McCarthy, R. Califf, led to his ouster because eight members of his own party were unhappy with compromises he made with Democrats to keep the government funded past September 30, Quigley said Friday the Republicans have always had a far right wing, but moderates were able to keep extreme laws from being passed. Many of Johnson's views are aligned with former President Donald Trump, who supported Johnson's bid, he said, the Republicans always had an extreme group that was out of the mainstream, Quigley said. The more moderate members tried to keep them at bay. The right wing now has the high ground, now that Johnson is running the House, Quigley said he sees historic similarities which give him hope. As Johnson was one who voted not to certify the results of the 2020 presidential election, Quigley hopes he will have leeway McCarthy lacked. I'm hoping it's like saying only, Former President Richard Nixon could go to China, Quigley said, referring to Nixon's effort to normalize relations with China more than 50 years ago. Maybe Johnson can make the crazies compromise, Schneider said in a news release he is concerned that a man like Johnson, who led the effort to overturn the results of the 2020 election and install Donald Trump as president, now has the speaker's gavel. Time equals 400 Ms. greater than a member of the Problem Solvers Caucus, which consists of 62 members, 31 Democrats and 31 Republicans, Schneider said he is disappointed Republicans did not seek Democrats help to resolve the three-week speakership impasse. Hope remains. I pray that the new speaker will come to see his new responsibilities to the country means leading the way for all Americans, Schneider said in the release. I hope he understands that includes responsibly funding the government and keeping support for supplemental funding for Israel and Ukraine bipartisan. Schakowsky said Friday Johnson's agenda is full of positions she strenuously opposes. Like a nationwide abortion ban with no regard for any women's reproductive rights, raising the age for collecting social security to 70, same-sex marriage, LGBTQ rights and more. These are not a good sign, Schakowsky said. People call him, Representative, Jim Jordan, R. Ohio, with a jacket. He did not vote to certify, Joseph, Biden as president. He, is against women's reproductive rights in the worst way. Despite her disagreement with Johnson on nearly all issues, Schakowsky said she hopes his fear of nationwide voter rejection will motivate Johnson to make the necessary compromises to avoid a government shutdown after November 17, very. Little is known about him as a leader, Schakowsky said. I hope the Republicans will see how ugly it will look for them if the government shuts down. Though Foster said Friday he is concerned about some of Johnson's positions, he is glad there is now some certainty after the last three weeks of chaos. Despite being in his fourth term, little is known of Johnson's leadership skills, Foster said. Foster is concerned about Johnson's positions on the environment and said he fears there could be legislation which will eliminate environmental protections already in place rather than adding more as Foster believes are needed. Moderate members of his party may keep Johnson in. Check, he said. On his first full day as Speaker, Foster said Johnson brought 29 votes to the floor, many of which would curb environmental regulations. Of those votes, 27 were amendments, of which 24 were Republican-sponsored. Of the 24, 22 failed because more moderate Republicans joined with Democrats to defeat them. Time equals 400 Ms. greater than 
He let members have their voice, whatever that voice may be, Foster said. A majority of the extreme right wing wanted them. While Foster is worried about the November 17 funding deadline, he said he hopes after Johnson works with leaders of both parties in both the House and Senate, he will agree to a continuing resolution to fund the government into January or beyond. It will depend on what kind of list of expenses will come out of the Speaker's office, Foster said. I have to be hopeful he will take the job seriously.